And my week of school, my first week of school, is finally over for this girl. I just want to tell you how it went. Like, first of all, my first period class is geometry. And, like, the teacher, his name is Mr. Glossop. He looks like Ben Stiller and the Red Mist had a baby. And bam, Mr. Glossop was born. Third period is art. And last year, it was freaking fun. It wasn't that many people in class, but this year there's like a bunch of people in there, and there's like hardly any room. The teacher's name is Mr. Ragland, and he's like, he's like my buddy, you know? Now my fourth period class is chemistry. This man, Mr. Smith, looks exactly like this dude off of, was it Star Trek? Star Trek. He has the ears and everything. I don't know what the name is. Anyways... For some odd reason, I heard that he hates the word panties, if you say it like that, panties. Now my fifth period is athletics, and everybody knows when you go to athletics, you're going to sweat. So I recommend wearing deodorant and perfume, putting that in your locker, and don't stink up the entire place like a whole bunch of other people do. One thing that irritates me, though, is like after, after athletics, like we have to go to lunch. And I hate the people that sit there and they straighten their hair for like hours on end. Like, oh my god, I have a crease in my hair. I don't care. I want to get to lunch, eat. I don't care if my face is red. I don't care if I'm still sweating. As long as I have my deodorant and perfume on, I'm good. Okay? So I just, I just want to eat. Sixth period now is world history. Last year I had... This teacher called Mr. Kennedy, and he did world geography, and he also teaches world history, and he's he's in a rock band, right? That that's pretty cool, you know. He's the lead singer of a rock band or metal, whatever you call it. Anyways, this year I don't have Mr. Kennedy. I have this new teacher named Mr. Regal, who looks like a shorter, but he's bald, and he looks like Mr. Clean, but he has a hick voice. So he's like a short, bald Mr. Clean with a hick voice. Okay, seventh period is called your focus period, and that's when you have this class you go to from when you're a freshman all the way to your junior year, and you have the same teacher for your focus period, and mine happens to be a Spanish teacher named Mrs. Smith, who's Mr. Smith's wife, that chemistry teacher who looks like the guy from Star Trek. I look forward to that class, pretty much, because you get candy almost every day for answering a question like, how was your summer, or, um answer something that good happened today or bad happened, whichever. And she also took our pictures, uh, and she's going to post it on the wall, and so people are going to see my beautiful face on her Spanish wall. Now, eighth period comes along, and that's when Spanish creeps its little head around the corner, and I get to look forward to seeing Miss Bynum's lovely face. She is downright crazy, in a good way. It's like like amazingly awesome how she can um threaten a kid but in an awesome way like she she can like say she's gonna black your eye she'll do it but under good circumstances and now it's time for ninth period and that's when cheer class is starting yes our school gets its own cheer class and that's because since a lot of cheerleaders have athletics there wasn't any time because after school you still have to practice go to athletics and um, there was no time for cheer practice so they made an own special little 45 minute class for cheerleaders and I think it's pretty awesome man it's not like we don't do anything but it's, it's it is kind of like a free period I'm not gonna lie here's just a few tips for you guys I recommend even though it's summertime bring a jacket to school because for some odd reason Teachers like to, th like, just torture their kids by putting the thermostat down to, like, negative 72 degrees because it they just think it's the right thing to do because it's summertime. No, I am freezing cold, man. Just turn up the thermostat, please. Another thing is, if you think you're cool by sitting at the back of, the, like, the back of the room at the desk, you're wrong, okay? That just means you're stupid, and you're not going to get on the good side of the teacher. I'll tell you that. Almost in all my classes, unless you're sitting alphabetical order, I am at the front of the room, not because I'm a nerd. Well, 
maybe just a little bit because I'm a nerd, but I want to not get in trouble and learn. Unlike you little hoodlums that like to sit in the back row. Ooh, you're cool. Yeah. So that's about it for what I have to say. Because, I mean, sophomore year is going to be pretty awesome. I mean, nothing nothing super duper hard. Uh, nothing super duper awesome is going to happen. That's just all I got to say. And if a teacher happens to see this and you get offended, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just sorry. That's my opinion about you. So... Thanks for watching, and this is the Megan57 signing out saying, stay in school.